Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are setting up my office and I hope you guys find it motivating if you're wanting to redecorate your office or you wanting to reorganize your office, you can watch this video along so that you can get some inspiration. But first, we are doing some coffee. I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing. I've been some good coffee and I've been adding cinnamon and um, pumpkin spice in the mix to make it you know like a pumpkin spice latte and it's been coming out so good this particular day oops made a big mess <laughs> anyways this particular day we actually went to Starbucks and picked up uh, some cinnamon coffee cakes and then I came home and made a pumpkin spice latte and it was just as if I had had the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks so just wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing but without further ado let's jump into my office unpacking first things first though i always listen to an audiobook when i'm working this particular day i was listening to sutton foster's uh, new book called hooked and i loved it if you guys are looking for a good memoir this one is it it's all about how crafting saved her life and i am all about hobbies and crafting at this point in my life so this book was very very timely so as you guys probably know if you've seen my video before i just moved to north carolina from florida and i've had everything in storage for like four months and my daughter and her husband and the kids are staying with us temporarily so this is just i know i always say temporary but this is a temporary spot because i will have my own office office but she is the babies are in that room right now so for now I am unpacking everything in the solarium and it was quite the challenge because my desk broke in the move so I am using a little desk in the meantime and I'm not going to get a new one until I move it into my office so that I know how big I want it and where I want to put it and all the things so this one doesn't have a lot of drawers and I am sharing my bookshelf with my daughter so I didn't have a lot of space to put um, a lot of extra things so I just basically put my books up and my journals and things like that and again I don't have that many physical books because I do a lot of my reading through auto um, through audible because I just read faster that way or listen to books faster that way I'm a very very slow reader um, so I do enjoy audible a lot so my bookshelf is not that full but once she adds all her books to it she still hasn't done it but she's going to do it soon because they're still in actually storage so she's going to bring them up and the bookshelf is going to actually look really nice but anyway how satisfying is it when you've just moved and you unpack a box and you can just break it down and throw it away like that was like my biggest goal during this whole thing is getting rid of all these darn boxes they were driving me crazy having so many boxes around the house but yeah i love just taking it out and moving it out of the space and just seeing the place clear out i probably should have done this at the start but i probably should have cleared everything out and then started bringing things in i just started like unpacking things as i was going and then i realized i need to clear some things out so i had put my laptop in there temporarily too because i needed to do something on it and then my chair was in the way and I couldn't get into the inside of the desk to put some things away so what I did here is just I started moving everything out of the way and started to clear out some space so that I can make room for the actual things that were in my previous desk because my previous desk had a lot of drawers so it was a little challenging trying to find a space to fit all the things in but I did it it all worked out for now, I'm gonna let you guys read the unpacking and the decorating in silence for those of you who just want to watch and I'll come back in a little bit.
So this little shelf is a copy of all my books and I don't have that many copies honestly because a lot of these books were published last year during like the middle of the pandemic and I really wasn't going anywhere and I didn't want to order a bunch of stock and just have it in you know just for nothing I don't really offer signed copies at the moment but all that is about to change especially in 2022 I am so excited I've already got a book signing in the works and I am going to be doing more in-person meetings which I've never done because I am just an extreme introvert and being around people scares me <laughs> just talking to people and just I don't know it just makes me really nervous but I am wanting to change that you know my entire professional platform is online and I need to change that up I want to switch that up I want to be in person and meet my readers and you know communicate and engage with other people that are doing what I'm doing or that love what I do and so 2022 that is my goal to step out of my comfort zone and step off the online world I mean I'm still going to be online obviously but I am going to just be doing more in-person meetings I've got a ton of things in the works as far as like places that I am going to be showing up at and doing signings and books so I'm excited for that so all that to say that I will be orange my books in stock and how cute is this Halloween cup I think I'm posting this video the day after Halloween so it doesn't make any sense but this was recorded a couple weeks ago so Halloween it is anyways right now I am still trying to fit all my things in this little drawer and look at this this little angel says believe in yourself I love this I have kept it around I don't even know where to put it I just keep it in my desk just because you know if you guys know anything about me my big word is believe I wrote a book called believe death I think it all starts with belief if you doubt yourself and you're wanting to make a change unless you believe in yourself or believe that change is possible it's not going to happen I think it all starts with belief and I've actually with belief I actually did a video on the law of attraction and where to start and I started with belief and I know that is not the first step in the law of attraction but I believe it has to be the first if you don't believe if you don't have faith that change is possible for you it's likely not going to happen but it's that little inkling inside of you that says I believe I can have something better I believe I can be better I believe I can reach this goal that sets everything in motion for you so I'll link that video below if you haven't checked it out and you guys I am so glad to have all my pens and markers back I only took with me Florida just a handful that I fit into this little blue pencil box or pencil purse kind of thing and I don't I know we don't need this many I know you only need one set of highlighters I mean how many markers do one, does one person need but it makes me good it makes me happy to see all of them I know I'm sure I'm not alone let me know if you're just like me in the comments below if you love to have a variety of markers at your disposal in fact I think I need more which actually goes against my minimalistic lifestyle because I like things minimal but when it comes to like art supplies I don't know that's where I kind of give myself some leeway and just let myself enjoy because I like the colors I don't know they just make me happy and here's where I'm trying to fit all my journals into this box because these are all my used journals and I thought it would be really cute to fit them in this box they didn't all quite fit and it was quite the challenge this is like the edited version of me fitting this into this box I did it so many times I'm gonna get me a bigger box and just store them all in there I don't want to get rid of them because I have gone back before and look up looked at all the things that I have written and it's amazing to me how many of the things that I wrote down have come to be so I love to look back so if you have journals if you're just starting journaling I recommend that you don't get rid of your journals once they're all used keep them all and go back especially if you are using your journals as a scripting manifesting kind of way so I not just use my journals to write down my thoughts in fact that's probably the last thing I use my journals for I actually use my journals a lot for you know writing down my goals and things that I want to accomplish and the things that I want to you know achieve in my life so I love going back and looking and seeing all the things that have actually come to be and now my daughter is uh, unboxing more boxes and these are all the books for the kids we had a lot 
we thought they weren't going to be her books, but it actually ended up being the books for the kids. And not all the books, just some of them. And look how cute the baby is. He's obsessed with foxes right now. So that was a fox book and he just kept wanting me to open it and read it and read it over and over again and yeah so that's it for this video you guys this is my office I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope I motivated you in some way to you know get your office either organized or if you are unpacking like me just get it done and here's an overlook of how it came out it it is not finished as far as like the books are concerned and stuff like that but you know, I made everything work. I don't really use a lot of these things unless I'm crafting. So if I'm crafting, I can just pull them out and go to my dining table and work out there. That is my Believe in Yourself Angel. This is my little printer book that I use when I craft. I had to add the pumpkins because, you know, it's still fall, obviously. And I love, I created this uh, vision board for my desktop, which I am in love with. And here's an overlook of my books so far. I really do wish I had more books, but I've thought about, you know, getting more books with getting a copy of the books that I've read on Audible, but I just can't get myself to do that unless I really, really, really love the books. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed yet, I would love for you guys to subscribe on the way out and I will see you again in a brand new video next week. Until then, stay safe.